water the rest of that day or before I went to the dentist and the next day I didn't drink anything so I got a sore throat from not drinking anything but that's strange because I had something to drink even if I didn't have this I have a lemonade over by my bed uh. so yeah okay let's go to the questions after I check something just go to the questions Sorry guys, I got distracted, but my Xbox is making a weird noise. I'm stuck in my Xbox not to sleep. Okay, let's get to the question. Ah, no! Um, what click am I in? My click, I think they mean school click. Um, I'm not specifically in a school click because I'm an athlete, so I'm a jock. So I'm friends with all the athletes in jock. <clears throat> I'm friends with band kids, even though I'm not in band. I'm friends with JROTC kids, even though I'm not in that. Um, I'm friends with kids who do like guitar and stuff and I, I do play guitar and I'm getting a second guitar I was going to get for my birthday but I don't know how much money I'm getting for my birthday and I'm going to the movies today already so if I get enough from enough people I'm probably going to buy a new guitar. I, it was going to be an electric one so if I get enough for an electric guitar I'm definitely going to get that but that's like a hundred dollars or something and I got this for forty so you see the difference. Um, and I also play the piano. My piano is not in here it's downstairs. So I'm friends with like a lot of music kids. Um, I'm friends with the goths guys. I love black on black. Most of my clothes, if you can't see here, and my clothes are black. I get called emo by my parents. So like, um, I'm friends with the quiet kids. I'm friends with like very extroverted spy clowns. I'm friends with the you know motorcycle kids. Not necessarily motorcycle, but like. Those kids that take a lot of this, so I'm not in a specific clique because I'm friends with a lot of people. Like even my friend groups are mi we're mixed in with a whole bunch of different people, so I could never answer that. 
the most amazing thing that I do. Since it says since it says do and I did, I'm guessing it means like something I do like on the regular, which is embarrassing. And honestly, at this point in my life, I don't even get embarrassed by much. I get like anxiety, but like embarrassment barely ever happens to me. But I guess the most embarrassing thing, um, which again isn't that embarrassing, is tripping up the stairs because I tripped up the stairs like six times a day probably. It's just, or down the stairs, either one. Ooh. What an awesome place though. Where would be, what? Where would be, where would a nice place for a summer vacation be? Oh my gosh, I could not eat that question. Um, I don't know. I would love to take a plane and go like Barcelona, but I am desperate for the plane. So, because of that. I would say LA, not LA necessarily, but California or Florida. If I go to California, I want to go like San Diego and um, LA, Los Angeles. And um, if I go to Florida, I want to go to Disney World or Disneyland, whichever one it is. I don't know which one it is. But we're driving. I'm not. I'm not getting on the plane. Okay. <sighs> What are some of the first things that you remember as a little kid? So, scientifically, I don't want to say scientifically because I don't know if it's scientifically, but you can't remember things until the age of three. Um, or you don't start to remember. Like, it's very rare that you remember something before the age of three, and I do. So I lived in this house, it was my great grandma's house, and she passed away a couple months before I was born. And why is this on? Um, Oh, it's not cut off, idiot. Um, anyway, we lived in her house, and I remember what her entire house setup looked like. I remember what my room looked like. Um, yes! A video? A video? Yes! Turn your TV up and stop listening to me! Anyway, I remember what her entire house set, set looks like. I remember getting stung by a bee there. Very traumatic. Um, I remember having an easy bake oven. I don't know if people know what that is. If I feel like putting a picture up here. Um, and it's weird because we moved out of the house when I was three and a half. So I just found pictures. Um, so the fact that I remember a lot of that is um, kind of surprising. There's some dogs through my whole ring light thing now, but someone is following me throughout. My voice that okay are my favorite movies and TV shows I cannot answer that but what I can show you is my notes I have a whole notes titled favorite movies TV shows and books if I click on it it has a whole bunch of sticky notes these are my favorite plays uh, these are my favorite books these are my favorite movies and then these are movies I want to watch um, and I don't know if you like this list before, but it just gets longer and longer and longer, like every time. And it doesn't even have all my favorite shows and TV shows on there, because some of them are from like childhood that I don't remember. And then I'll see it and be like, oh my gosh, I loved that show, and then I'll add it on the list. And this is from the books that I passed it. Are there any quotes from books, movies? Or shows or songs that you really like. There are. I don't know if you guys can see my whiteboard up there. I have so many. But. What'd you do? Oh my gosh, it's hot. Uh, I have so many favorite quotes and movies, and some of them I don't remember until I rewatch the movie, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that quote. 
walk through the coat and be like, I kind of forgot I remember that. But some of them that I just remember by heart, I put on my whiteboard. I'm not even as good as it looks. Ugh. Just getting tiny. Like talk or something. I put it on my whiteboard so I'm not. I guess you guys see my mother in the background. <coughs> okay, so here's me white old. Now, some of them aren't quotes. Like, te amo is just my favorite word, so that's why it's on here. It means I love you. If you don't know what it means, either te amo or te quiero. Um, te quiero is more like for friends and stuff like that. Te amo would be like significant other or family, people that you're very close to, or even a best friend. Um, and then it says... Dying is easy and a man living is harder. It's from Hamilton. Literally, best quote. One of the best quotes ever. Not the best quote ever, though. And I always put, like, where it's from, too. In case, like, some ladies mumble it and they don't know where it's from. Um, I'm, like, from Spongebob. That is right there. Um, there's definitely... Oh, it's a Scorpio. It says, I'm a Scorpio. The moon says, Shawnee's turning 22. So I'll be changing that in a couple months. Because I'm a Shawnee's turning 23. Once I change it, I'll change out some of the quotes. Because some of the quotes are leaves. Just one notification sound. Um, it says, Hola. Um, I, I love you until I die. If there's a life after that, I love you then too. From Shadowhunters, which I stopped watching after I found out that they left on a cliffhanger and they didn't need to finish all the book series. Because, um, Claire, the, I don't say her name's Claire or Clarissa. And just forget his name, but it starts with the J. J's end up together. But in the movies, I mean, the TV show, they never get to portray that because it got canceled. So I stopped watching it because it ends stupid on her forgetting him. Um, Chill Man Street Dogs Haven't Killed Us Yet from Julian the Phantom. No says, Mi amor, you're my whole heart. And it has um, a a cursive letter on there that is not important that has nothing to do with the show that is something for me um this one says i'm not a successful adult i don't eat vegetables and or take care of myself right here from new girl i love that show i've watched it like three times i love you guys from julian the phantom said by alex who played by um owen joe owen joiner but mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even all often ten things I hate about you guys. This quote right here is my favorite quote in the entire world. I love this quote so much. I'm definitely going to go for 23 minutes. Um, to love is to lose the one you love most. And that is a quote that I made. Um, and I really like it. Um... Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Infinity War, Spider-Man, says that, or from Holland, and then Joe is Harry, from Harry Potter. So yeah, that's my quotes. I absolutely love this little whiteboard of quotes. And again, the 10 things I hate about you quote is top number one quote. It's my favorite quote. Of all time. I absolutely love that quote. Okay. Hey, daddy, jay, jay. Okay. Oh, I see this one already. Um, what does your new room setup look like? And, and it relates to that. I got rid of the loft bed. I don't know if you guys remember the loft bed. Would have usually been behind me. Nope. Would have usually been a little more over there. But you would have saw it behind me. And then the dresser was facing this way. Because you guys could always see this wall. Yeah, that setup is gone. Because I got rid of the loft bed. It was irritating me. Because I always used to try, like, almost hit my head on the fan. Because I'm really tall already. And that bed is really high up. And I didn't have any space in my room to walk around or exercise. Which is one of the questions I saw on there already. Um, yeah, it's one of the questions. Um, so, I got rid of it and I got a storage bed. 
it through over there. Um, so yeah, that's my bed set up. That's one of my covers. It's not the cleanest right now. And there's a cord stripped across it because it's charging in this phone. It's my bing bag chair with clothes in it. It's going to be cap text it on the floor. I got three squash minerals this week. I absolutely love them. That is Cardinal named Casual. That is Denton. The, I don't know what he is. Maybe a tadpole or frog. And that is Pancakes. It's Rayan. And then next to them is Cal, my dinosaur who lights up the night. A little night light. Sorry, yelling's happening. Um, there's pictures in the background, some rain, some string lights on my little tapestry. And I want to get another tapestry and put it like once you walk in my door. Because that's the only other spot in my room it can go. Um, my desk is actually kind of a desk now. It has mostly desk, desk stuff on it. And then all my like hygiene, hair, nail polish, shampoo stuff is over there. This my keychain and my necklaces and then my little skeleton. And then you guys can't see him, but I have a little thing right here. Switch for Halloween. My little skull for Halloween right here. And then the skeletons, you guys, on that picture up there. Oh, uh, there's a mirror. And this dresser, ignore it. It's not even supposed to be in my room. Just never took it out after I decorated it. Because I had nowhere to put it. Um, my little bookshelf behind me. There's the books, there's movies, and then more books and stuff animals on the third one down there. My guitar. This dresser is just full of figurines, action figures, my little, this is a soccer ball light up that I never light up, this is a soccer ball back here, I don't know if you can see it, my dog, I actually have two of these, um, I actually love this thing, I got it on one of my videos, the Sheen order video, and then also, I love this little guy, um, I forgot what I named him to be honest, and he lights up, but I never light him up, because I don't want the battery to run out, um, the Chameleon from Monsters Inc. Mario. I don't know. My brother gave this to me, which I really like. He gave it to me, but this is a little man. What is this from? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's from a movie. There's a minion, and then there's some stuff. Oh, and there's Edna. And one of my friends, she gave me a zombie in middle school. Just randomly gave me a zombie, so I kept it. He's sitting with Edna. put them back up there and then like I have a dinosaur right here if you guys can see that it's just like so much random figurines that I keep in here this is definitely gonna be over 23 minutes I'm so sorry um somebody asked how Romeo was which is my hamster he's doing fine he scared the crap out of me yesterday and that's in the other video um you don't know why um oh do you what are you doing well not in soccer so what I do is Soccer is a fall sport, so soccer in fall is still happening, but soccer ends it. And football season lasts a little longer than soccer, so football season is semifinals right now. But soccer season, after soccer season, I wait a couple weeks, sometimes even a month. Um, and I started two days ago, but I haven't done it since, so I'm probably going to start again tomorrow or today. Um, I exercise right after soccer, like two weeks or a month after exercise up until February. Because February, track starts. I don't do a winter sport and track is a spring sport and then during the summer I play outside and stuff so I can't take my exercise and every once in a while if I don't play outside I'll just do like an exercise routine so that's what my what my exercise is after soccer season ends first movie I've ever seen um there's actually quite a bit of bad movies I've seen um I can't think of any right now except people gonna hate me for this Hocus Pocus I I've never watched Hocus Pocus because I tried to watch it. I always fell asleep on it. I turned it off because it got boring. And I finally watched almost the whole thing through. Um, but we had to leave during the last 20 minutes of it. So I never got to finish the last 20 minutes. And I didn't even try to continue it because I was like, I don't like this. It's boring. So yeah, I would say Hocus Pocus for now. Sorry, guys. Um, I did not like Hocus Pocus at all. My throat is so dry. And I just saw the next question, so I'll answer that after I get a drink. I'll say 26 minutes. This will be 26 minutes. Okay. Oh, God, this is like a Martin McQueen right here. Can't believe I forgot him. Okay. Ugh. Absolutely not. 
any. I can't be helping. So it's mine. I don't know why. Um, oh, well. I saw my room set up. My fridge is still over here. My fridge is still over here with my snack machine. My gum machine. And it says snack time. Because this is my snack area. And I might be getting a little divider. A three thing divider. Which pours out. And I'm going to put candy in it. Anyway. Um, what was that question again? Oh. How many shoes do you have? I don't want to focus on me. Oh. Fuck. Um, not that many. I'm not a big fan of shoes and stuff. I don't, I wear the same pair of shoes every day. But besides the slides on my feet right now. Which I wear even at the house. I wear these combat boots all the time. And my Jordans all the time. Those are the main three pairs of shoes you ever see me wear. I have these Nikes. But I've only worn them three times in my entire life, and I've had them for over a year. Um, I think you guys can see down here. You guys can see down there. I have these pair of boots, which I haven't worn in about two years, but I used to wear these all the time. I don't wear them as much anymore. I have these boots, which my grandma gave me. I've worn twice. I don't really wear them all the time. These were my mother's. She never wore them. She couldn't fit them. So she gave them to me. I've worn them once. These are my track spikes. And then my soccer cleats are behind the camera, which I don't take anymore. These are, quote, my hooker boots, which is what, what my friend said when I wore them. Um, he was like, what type of boots are those? They look like hooker boots. I'm only gonna get one of these. They're very dirty. These are the Nikes I've had before I got the Jordans, and I wore them every day. And now I only wear them during soccer season when I'm not wearing my cleats. So those are all the shoes I own. And as you can see, I only wear three pairs mostly. Okay. Oh my. Simple question. Didn't mean to zoom in on it. When is your birthday? My birthday is tomorrow. October 30th. But it will be passed when this video comes out. And, um, I think, I know I took a screenshot of this um, question. You asked me what am I doing for my birthday? Um, I'm going to the movies today. Because my, today is Friday. My birthday is on a Sunday. And I don't want to go to the movies on a Sunday because um, all the times are later. And I don't want people's parents to say, oh, they can't go on a Sunday before school. Even though we're in love with grades, so not many parents will say that. But I didn't want to risk it, so I'm going to the movies with two friends today. Um, we're going to watch Black Adam, which I saw last weekend, but neither of them have seen it. And all the other movies are playing way earlier, which we can't go to the earlier times. So we're going to watch Black Adam, because I'm going to see it again, and they're going to see it for the first time. And I'm doing that today at 6 o'clock. So that's what I'm doing for my birthday. And then we have a cake, which will, you you would have seen in the last video if you watched it. Mm, two more questions and we're done. Coffee or tea? Both. I make tea every day before I go to school every morning. It's like every once in a while I'll stop and get a coffee. But we're going to do two more questions. Because one of my friends only answer this question because they're so proud of me. So I get a coffee every once in a while, um, and I'll make coffee. One of my friends, she she's going to the movies with me, literally hates me sometimes because I drink black coffee. And she learned that during track season, she found it absolutely disgusting, and I mess with her about it so much because it's so funny. But then also I love tea. Like, I'll drink tea as much as possible. I love m most teas with raspberry, peppermint, mint is the same thing, lemon, Ginger. Ginger and lemon are my favorite teas. Lemon and ginger tea. Um. Oh. How's it having your license, guys? 
Thank you guys, I, I told you guys I can drive now. Dang, she is classy. Here's my little broken wallet because I don't like carrying purses. And if I can find my ID, I swear it's in here. It's just like, gonna literally cover up everything but my picture. I literally hate this picture so much, guys. This is my driver's license picture. Um, I have to wear my glasses when I drive. Because if I got pulled over without my glasses, I could get a ticket. I don't know if I can get arrested on my way. Um, driving was pretty fun. My friends keep making jokes at me. Like, oh my gosh, do not let her drive. Do not park next to me in the parking lot. And it's really funny that they make those jokes because they drive worse than me. Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know who asked this. But I'm going to say I'm going to keep all these kids. How many eggs do you have? And, um, do you miss any of them? Um, no, I don't miss any of them because I don't have any. I have zero exes and I have zero kisses. And, of course, I don't miss any of my exes because I don't have any. So that was a simple question. Uh, yeah, I told my friend that I would start dating at the age of 16. I would be okay with it. Um, and before then, they were already trying to set me up with people. So that's why I told them that. I've always known that. So I told them at the age of 16, you know what, I'll start dating. I didn't say you can start setting me up with people, but I'll start dating. So they stopped setting me up with people until I was 16. Then they started again. And I was like, I didn't tell you guys to do this. I turned 17 tomorrow, and my friends are still trying to set me up with people. It's really funny. Like, hilarious. But... I digress. Um, that is the video. I did not get to explain much because I went on a whole rant about. Honestly, I don't even know what. This is going to be uncut like the last one four months ago, five months ago. It'll be five months ago now, I think. So this is going to be uncut like that one. Also, because I don't suck at it much. I'm going to like take out my yelling or like lower it because I was yelling. Um, but that's about it. My eyebrows look nice. I like my eyebrows. Dude, funny story right quick. Because this is 30 minutes long. And it's going to be uncut. So it's going to be like 31 minutes. Sorry. I literally lied about the time already. Um, My mom never really treats herself. And I hate that she does that. But she finally went to go get some like leg massages. And she really enjoyed that. But that's not the point. That's not even what I'm going to. She went to go get her eyebrows done recently. And I was in there waiting because I had just went somewhere I was with her for some reason we were going somewhere or something and I was in there and the guy was like well, she told me what the guy said when she got done I thought it would take longer she, we walked out and everything I had a book with me and I was reading and we walked back to the car and she's like he told me you should get your eyes done and I was like I should get my what done and he's like he said you need to get your eyebrows done guys my eyebrows I think is my best feature and guy literally just roasted me, not even to my face, saying, I need my eyebrows done. Guys, my eyebrows are fine. See? Tomorrow? Anyway, my eyebrows are great. I love my eyebrows. <laughs> and I love this little dimple that I have. I don't, people say it's really rare to have dimples, especially one. I have one dimple i don't know where it came from but i enjoy that dimple this has nothing to do with anything i'm gonna get done peace out people hope you enjoyed see you next one